could this happen? That is what many are asking after a puppy died on board a United Airlines flight. The puppy's owners say a flight attendant insisted on stowing the tiny French bulldog in the overhead bin. Now the family is speaking out about what happened. There is growing outrage today over the tragic death of Kakito, a French bulldog who died after a flight attendant allegedly ordered him stowed in the overhead bin on a three-hour flight. How does this happen? I have never heard of anything like this, ever. ever. Kakito was just 10 months old, a birthday present for 11-year-old Sophia Sabalas. We took him everywhere we went. Jim Murray climbed on board a Boeing 727 at Air Hollywood Studios in Los Angeles with Inside Edition producer Britt Krause and her French bulldog, Augie, to try to understand how this happened. The family was flying from Houston to New York, a three and a half hour journey. Kikito was in his little dog carrier under the seat in front of Sophia, but just before takeoff, she says the flight attendant insisted the dog go in the overhead bin because it was too big to remain on the floor. A passenger on board tweeted, I witnessed a United flight attendant instruct a passenger to put her dog bag in the overhead bin. It was clearly a dog, and while the customer was adamant about leaving it under the seat, the attendant pushed her to do so. There isn't much air in the overhead bin to begin with, especially when it's filled with bags. And when it's shut tight, very little air, if any, is getting in. Kakita was heard yelping softly for the first hour of the flight, but then he went silent. We tried, but like there was a lot of turbulence, and we, we weren't allowed to stand up. When the plane landed, the bag was opened and Kakito was dead. Passengers on board recounted what happened next. I held her baby as the mother attempted to resuscitate the puppy. I cried with them as she sobbed over his lifeless body. She sat in the airplane aisle on the floor crying and all of the surrounding passengers were utterly stunned. LA veterinarian Jeff Werber owns two French bulldogs. I just fear that this poor puppy started to panic Dark space, no one around, and just started really suffocated. Even Sarah Nelson, president of the Association of Flight Attendants, is struggling to understand how this happened. This is not our procedures. Our procedures are to instruct passengers to put uh, their pets and the carriers underneath the seat in front of them. This is just a horrific incident, and everyone who sees it can feel it. The flight attendant claimed she didn't know there was a dog in the carrier. Meantime, United Airlines released a statement sending their condolences to the family, adding that they are thoroughly investigating what occurred to prevent this from ever happening again.